Hello dear students, so here we are going to talk about the petrosal nerve. As you know, the temporal bone is having the four parts. What are the four parts of the temporal bone? This part is the temporal bone. The flat part is known as squamous part. Then another part which is behind the ear that is the mastoid part. Yes, another part which is making the roof of the external acoustic meatus that is known as the tegmen tympani. The tegmen means roof. Whenever in medical terminology, tegmen word is coming means roof. So this is the tegmen tympani. And another part which is inner side that is the most dense part of the skull known as petrous part of temporal bone. Yes, according to the grace 41st edition, this petrous part of temporal bone is hardest bone of the skull. Yes, see the terms, strongest bone of the skull, answer is the mandible. But if the MCQ is asked about the hardest bone, ivory like hard, then our answer is petrous part of temporal bone. But this petrous part of temporal bone was not given in option, but bony labyrinth was given. As we know, during the dissection, yes, there is the bony labyrinth within the petrous part of temporal bone so we have to opt the bony labyrinth for that question so this petrous part of temporal bone is the hardest bone not the strongest there is a difference in the terminology for mcq of our skull so what i am telling you the petrous part of temporal bone yes this petrous part of temporal bone is related with the three types of the nerve which are known as petrosal nerve one Petrosal nerve is larger in length, bigger in course. That's why that is known as greater petrosal nerve. Yes, it is located superficially in relation to the other nerves. That's why it is also known as superficial petrosal nerve. Yes, we can say this nerve as greater superficial petrosal nerve also. So this is the first petrosal nerve. Another nerve that is small in course in petrous part of temporal bone so it is known as laser petrosal nerve and another petrosal nerve which is related with the petrous part of temporal bone that is located deeply related to other petrosal nerve that's why that is known as the deep petrosal nerve again i am summarizing there are three petrosal nerve one is greater petrosal nerve another is laser petrosal nerve and third one is deep petrosal nerve. Now what are the important points? We will discuss in the live class. But this is the short video. Yes. Greater petrosal nerve. G for greater petrosal nerve. G for genu of facial nerve. As we know. In the facial nerve. There is one turn part. And whenever there is a turn part. That is known as the genu. Yes. Like the knee joint. There is the term genu. Genicular artery. Like the internal capsule is having the genu, turn part of the internal capsule is genu. Yes, carpus callosum is having the turn part that is the genu. So what is our concept? Whenever there is the any turn part that is done with the terminology of the genu. So facial nerve is also having one sharp turn that is known as the genu from where the G for genu, G for greater petrosal nerve branch is given. Now this greater petrosal nerve runs from the posterior wall of the foramen lacerum to the anterior wall of the foramen lacerum. In life class we will discuss in detail but what you have to remember the greater petrosal nerve is running from posterior wall to the entry wall of the foramen lacerum and the another nerve deep petrosal nerve as the name is indicating the deep petrosal nerve is coming from the deeper aspect yes there is the common carotid artery in the neck which is dividing into the external and internal the internal carotid artery is ascending through the carotid canal within the petrous part of temporal bone then it is running upside within the cranial cavity yes this internal carotid artery is carrying the sympathetic plexus around the internal carotid artery and this sympathetic fibers they are coming from the T1 segment. So what you have to remember? Internal carotid artery surrounded by the sympathetic plexus root value T1. They forms the 
petrosal nerve which is running deeper aspect to the pectus part so this is known as the deep petrosal nerve again i am summarizing the greater superficial petrosal nerve or greater petrosal nerve is branch from the facial nerve while the deep petrosal nerve is the branch of the sympathetic plexus around the internal carotid artery both are mcqs now both the nerves are running from the posterior to the anterior side and then these are uniting and on the anterior wall of the foramen lacerum there is the one bony canal is present that bony canal is closely related with the pterygoid bone pterygoid muscle medial pterygoid and lateral pterygoid muscles that's why that bony canal is known as the pterygoid canal this pterygoid canal was studied by the vidian that's why it is known as the vidian's nerve yes so now the greater petrosal nerve and the deep petrosal nerve both are uniting within the pterygoid canal and forming the nerve of pterygoid canal very most important so this nerve of pterygoid canal was studied by the vidian that's why it is also known as vidian's nerve so what you have to remember mathematic form the vidian's nerve is equal to you can write down the short note the vidian's nerve is equal to greater petrosal nerve plus deep petrosal nerve mcq the greater petrosal nerve is coming from the g for greater petrosal nerve g for genu of facial nerve while the deep petrosal nerve is the branch of sympathetic plexus around the internal carotid artery so this is about the two petrosal nerve so sir which is the third petrosal nerve third one is the small laser petrosal nerve that laser petrosal nerve is coming from the do you remember the middle ear wall promontory the tympanic plexus around the promontory which is contributed by the jacobson nerve mcq what is the jacobson nerve yes the tympanic branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve is the jacobson nerve yes from where the laser petrosal nerve is coming so the one mcq have been asked in neat as well as the fmg exam that laser petrosal nerve is the branch of which nerve answer is glossopharyngeal nerve coming from the tympanic plexus around the internal carotid artery yes as you know this laser petrosal nerve runs through the foramen ovale do you remember foramen ovale m a l e m for metal meningeal m for mandibular nerve yes a for accessory meningeal artery a m a amma okay and then l for laser petrosal nerve yes only one thing you have to remember laser petrosal nerve passes through the foramen ovale to the outside this is the branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve okay so these are about the three petrosal nerve and what are the applied we will discuss in the live class so thank you very much if you liked this live session kindly comment and if there is the more and more demand we will take the classes thank you very much god bless you all prepare for your exams thank you